Ellen, I didn't mind the bjellies. Our family brunches around the house usually are a, a tumult. I mean, it's just nonstop, uh, you know, excitement, laughter, and, and activity. All right, someone, someone's got to eat grandma. Coming to my home, uh, and I say my home, coming to my mother's house, is a place where you all come to relax and have a good time. It, it's been a blessing that my parents have been able to provide this kind of an environment for us, and not just for the, the first generation, but for the second generation as well. The cousins are close, they love to come here. And this is where we all like to be. Even though we do talk to each other uh, over the phone and try and keep in touch, it's not the same as being together in the same room. So there's always 15 conversations going on and hugging and kissing and uh, just a lot of chaos, but it's a lot of fun. You don't learn how to eat lock. Gotta do it in the right order. I have to kick you out of the family. Gotta do it in the right order. It's a I thank God every day for being part of this family. It's a wonderful family. I, I look around me and I know I've got the best family. And to make a family like this, someone's got to be first. You have to have a leader. So I was a leader. I paid six to for that. That's all that I had. When it comes to certain moments in life that are important, you need to celebrate them. You need to make them special. And it's my dad's 80th birthday coming up. What a better gift to my parents to our children and our children's children that we give them this documentation of our family's legacy. My father's been very successful financially, but the true sign of success is this amazing family he's built. Shemiatice, Poland, December 23, 1923. Shemiatic had about 6,000 Jews. My family, all of them was business people, and they had mitchaps, kosher mitchaps. Kosher butchers, they used to call them. My father was business people. They had stalls and business people. They called them up to sell them some merchandise. And they killed them and took away the money from them. My mother was pregnant with me in this time. Then my mother got married to another man and they had together four kids. And I was the oldest, but I never was accepted. If you didn't have a father and your mother got married to another man, they never accepted you. With my mother, the relationship was very good. But she couldn't do much, you know. She couldn't do much. So I got a little bit older. I always was on my own. I used to sleep in the streets. And I always was looking for something, you know. And I was looking to make 10 groschen used to be some money. So when I used to make some 10 groschen, I used to go in, in town, used to be bakeries. I used to grab the bread, my dad, and hide myself under a stoop. Nobody to be able to take away from me when I was hungry. <laughs> 